this would be a pointless sort of a story if I didn't let you into a secret, but have you ever wondered how they put those fillings into chocolates? Luscious, lovely lollies with soft hearts that melt in your mouth while the girl at your side melts into your arms. What he's rolling is the fondant from which some of the sweetest centers are cut, the stuff that sticks when you want to say, ooh. He'd stick too, were it not for the starch. But now, Monsieur Fredericks can take up his own cue. No one knows better than he that hearts are trumps when in the spring, youth presses its suits. When a girl's tired of fondant, she's not necessarily tired of life. Maybe she's just a bit fonder of variety. And here's how to press the moles, and the bed he's pressing them in is starch. And this is how those soft centers go in. Glug, glug, glug. Doesn't it make your mouth water? Whether it's hearts or other shapes, in this room we're at the kernel of the matter, for this is the chocolate maker's holy of holies. It's here that sweetness simmers contentedly, far from the impatient world outside, and where he'll show you the secrets of curvature or chocolate dipping. Would you guess, for instance, that those tempting ridges on the top of the chocolates are made as simply as this? Just watch how he handles the fork. We may not all have enough energy to be as handy as Monsieur Fredericks, but there aren't many of us who wouldn't take a leaf out of his book, one of those leaves. Now here's one way to get curves, another is to eat plenty of chocolate curvature, which as you know is French and means nice covering. One could call this flower natural, but nothing in the world is more natural than wanting to eat it. Well, there it is. And from the way Monsieur Fredericks acts, you think it was just a piece of cake to him. If there was any doubt in your minds on who holds the whip hand on this confectionery game, here's the final proof. Aren't they sweet? And even if you don't like cats, here's one you'd wish had nine lives. Yes, this little lady's made of chocolate, but boy, isn't she a honey.